also he's had against Dalsim. I personally have not been able to see this on his CFN. Mr. Crimson, obviously, he's played a plethora of juries throughout. Mm -hmm. How do you think he got that 100k, right? <laughs> so, I gotta say, man, I, I'm more so concerned for Nephew's behalf to see what he does in this matchup. And I just love the fact that Mr. Crimson, he knows the type of character he plays, right? He needs to grind it out. Dalsim, I mean, he takes more yeah, ability, really more skill to pilot yeah. than a lot of characters. He just has so many tools that you need to get used to that early on in the game, he often flounders, but he here, Mr. Crimson, already a master, showing you what it is. Oh, oh. Not too bad of a start thus far for Nephew, right? A little erroneous when it came to the dive kick. He did get punished counter, but not severely, right? And I love that. Oh, what? or so I thought I loved it. I just like it. Send it back. Oh, yeah. Through too early? That was weird. But Mr. Crimson now, he's got the corner regardless here. Oh, wanted one more throw. Catches him, and Nephew tried to pop off. Maybe it was something invincible. Got an execution error, perhaps? Perhaps, man. It's been a couple of fumbles thus far from both ends, but now it's going to be Mr. Crimson still in control while being close to this corner. And I love the counter hit conversion into the Yoga Fire. Right. Sending him into round two. Now, Mr. Crimson still showing that control mid screen, but it's up to Nephew to kind of utilize his fireball and close the gap exactly where you want to be at against Dalsim. And that was something you actually brought up before we went live. You saw the fireball come out, and Jury was trying to rush behind it. Dalsim can easily thwart that. We'll see if it's going to be thwarted even further. Yeah, Mr. Crimson now pushing the corner. The overhead is there. Successful conversion from Nephew. But it's Feng Shui time. Are we going to hit it with a business after the knockdown? That was meaty as hell. Mm -hmm. The safest jump possible right there. And then the driver reversal gets baited. And great recognition from Nephew. Knowing how far away he was, he gets the punish regardless. Oh, there was an attempt at a perfect parry. You can do that against the safe jumps against Jury multiple times. But I feel like even after that situation, you're not going to get a big punish. You're not going to lose your space. And you can't technically really throw out yeah. of that, right? Right. Yeah, if you get like a properly timed safe jump in this game and you perfect parry it, you're plus two as the perfect parrier, right? So you're not actually going to get a legitimate punish. You kind of have to play a guessing game regardless. Oh, damn. That was nice. Yeah, using the Yoga Flame afterwards is a great position for Mr. Crimson to be in. But just as I say that, Nephew dashing right in, getting the frame trap. But Crimson not waking up with anything weird. Oh, oh wow. that trade could have been disgusting. Imagine if he had done forward medium punch instead to link pass it. That would have been crazy. Could have been the play of the day right there from Nephew. But right now, Mr. Crimson burnt out and towards the corner of the fever. Excuse me, the drive reversal. We still reversing, baby. You know? Same thing. <laughs> Different game. Big trade. Oh, oh yeah. off the Invincible reversal this time. And in the corner, still burnt out. Nephew doesn't have drive impact because he's burnt out as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't do no. anything about that. I don't think he got the level one meter until he ate the Yoga Flame block as well. So, True that, yeah, I, I couldn't really tell at the end. Maybe he would have been able to. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he built the bar by blocking. So, he couldn't even pop off with it. That was such a good checkmate scenario, too, after the anti-air from the back medium. But now it's Mr. Crimson cooking up again. Already at 50%. Nephew is at the deficit. And Mr. Crimson, he's just controlling the place. Yes, indeed. That's what, exactly what Dalsim is so good at, right? Just controlling the screen. He's winning from 99 seconds. That's the type of character he is. Oh, gets the drive impact while he's in the mid-air. Still, though, uh, Nephew burnt uh, out. Just getting chipped out. And then again, right? It is so much chip when you're burnt out. Yo, the air throw to put That's him right. in the corner. That's right. And I love that big conversion too. Off of the throw bait against Nef, or sorry, against Mr. Crimson. Watch out for the throw. We all saw it coming. Overhead, no. Again, oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, Ooh. thank God. Woo. Nef, you almost giving me a heart attack right there. Missed the minus eight. He wasn't burnt out at that point, right? Was so, not. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so Mr. Crimson kind of opts to go for driver versus. I think this is a set yeah. for most Dawsons. They're, they're willing to spend their drive gauge more often on these driver versus. And now Nephew, being well within range, does get a full punish. Not going to spend the drive gauge for the punish, but it's still a punish nonetheless. Oh, At the oh. perfect frame, the clash that the first one we've seen all week. Yeah, definitely. The clash drive impact. A rare sight here in Street Fighter Six, but you've seen it. We all see. It's a nice job. There's a little OS right there at the DP as soon as the, uh, the stand medium punch whip. Oh, oh no! Got a little bit too overzealous that time. Committing to the DP, Mr. Crimson gets his drive meter back. Confirms it to the level three. That's gonna put nephew burnt out because this is CA, baby. It's taking all your drive meter away. Oh man, that's mm. the best ab workout of the summer right there. Mm -hmm. Give me that eight pack, bro. Oh, he tried the yoga oh. handle startup. Got stuff no. from nephew. Wow. Not hesitant whatsoever, despite being in burnout. I think it really caught Mr. Crimson off guard that he was so aggressive. He caught me off guard, son. Are you kidding me? I thought that was going to anti-air. I was ready for the follow-up. Oh, and then the air going off the teleport. That was so, so sick. sick. 
Oh, oh there yes. was a reversal attempt for Mr. Crimson. I don't know what it was, but it caused a hard knockdown. Now, yeah. Nephew in full control again. I think it was a wake up parry because he got punished countered, right? So, oh, Yoga Anvil again. Oh, damn. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit preemptive with it because you saw him. <gasps> Is it late? He will get jumped in on. Nephew, that was so important. Oh, he tries to parry again and ends up burning himself out. That's why I highlighted the previous interaction is important. What a cancel to the super to blow up the drive impact. Are you kidding me, nephew? That was actually kind of sick. Mr. Crimson thought himself, he thought he had a way in, <clears throat> trying to get past uh, at least the burnout state against nephew. That was uh, pretty tricky, right? He was just trying to chip him out. Yeah, Crimson, it felt like he tunnel visioned a little bit right there, right? right. He saw his opponent yeah. was in burnout. He was like, I'm going to drive impact, but he didn't have the health to survive it. Yeah. Thinking full well, you know, Jury's got some long normals. There's a lot of recovery to it. I think I could risk throwing out a DI here, but you can so long as he has meter. Exactly, and Nephew right now doing such a good job. He's the one sneaking in drive impacts. He gets to throw as well after oh, Keith. Oh, Mr. No. Crimson not I... to do that. The wake up. I think it was supposed to be a super, but nonetheless, he gets the punish anyway. Nephew taking the set.